Hi, kindergarten friends. Today we're going to be reading another chapter of Frog and Toad together. Um, last week, Mrs. Chetsfield read the chapter, A List. Today we're going to be re reading the chapter, Cookies. Cookies. Yeah. Mrs. Chetsfield cookies. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. What's your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip, peanut butter, um, chocolate. Um, sugar oh, sugar cookies, like cutout cookies. I'm trying to find that. I like them all. Oh, here we go. Okay. I eat them all. You start. Would you like me to start? Okay. Yes. We'll take turns reading. Cookies. Can you see the kids? Okay. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one, and they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, cried Toad. Taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I've ever eaten, said Frog. So look at them. Look, get, a, get a glimpse of those cookies. Oh, it's a big ball. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Special guest, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'll read that and then you read that. You aren't too sure. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. You're going to read a little more? You can read more. You know, Toad, said Frog, with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating. We will soon be sick. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie, and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left <coughs> in the bowl. Frog said, Toad, let <coughs> us eat one very last cookie, and then we will <coughs> stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. That sounds like Mrs. Oh. Jacksonville. I keep taking little bites and little bites and little bites, and eventually I've probably eaten five cookies. I just take little bites. All right, special friend. We must stop eating, cried Toad. Wait, is this the right page? You can try it right there. Okay. We must stop eating, cried Toad as he ate another. Yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower. What is willpower? asked Toad. Special friend, do you know what willpower is? I think willpower is something that you really want to keep doing, but you have to stop. Mm, so you really, really want to keep eating cookies, but you know you should stop. Yeah. So you need willpower to help you stop? Yeah, I'll explain it more. All right, okay. Oh, is this my turn? Yeah. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do. Good job, special friend. You mean like trying not to eat all these cookies, asked Toad? Right, said Frog. Boy, does anyone else need a lot of willpower to not eat all the cookies? Me. Let's do connection. 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 Frog put the cookies in a box. There, he said. Now we, now we will not eat any more cookies. Well, we can open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. All right, so what did, they had a problem here, friends. There were so many cookies, and they just wanted to keep eating them. So, special friend, they tried something to solve the problem. What did they try? They tried to put the cookies in a box, okay. but Toad said they can just open the box. So All right, so try the box, but they can just open the box. All right, let's see what happens here. Frog tied some string around the box. There he said, now we will only, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Well, that was a good thought, right? Put them in a box, the tie some string on it. Well, they, they could not even cut the string. Frog got a letter. He put the box up on the high shelf. There, said Frog. Now we will not eat any more cookies, but we can climb the ladder and take the box down up from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. So special friend, not only did they use the box, they used the string, what else did they do to try to solve this problem? They tried to put it on a high shelf so they wouldn't eat them. So they wouldn't grab it, but then they said, well, wait, Let's just get a ladder and climb the ladder and open the box. You're right. You're right. So long, the picture. Oh, did I? 
I'm sorry. I did not show the ladder picture. There you go. Frog took the box outside and he shouted in a loud voice, Hey birds, here are cookies. Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and they flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. Yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. We can keep it all. I mean, you may keep the, it all, Frog, said Toad. I am going home now to bake a cake. <laughs> So Frog said, yes, the cookies are gone, but guess what? We have so much willpower, which means we tried really, really hard not to do something, and we did it. And, and Toad says, you can keep all that willpower, Frog. I'm going to go bake a cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Are they going to have the same problem when they bake a cake? They're going to put it in a box and tie a string and put it up on a big shelf and, yeah. and feed it to the birds. Oh, <gasps> and that was the end. Oh my goodness, so they kind of kept us hanging. They said, I'm gonna go bake a cake. And now we don't know what happened with the cake, special friend. What do you guys think happened to the cake? The next I actually think that they are gonna eat the whole cake, then they're gonna get sick, and then um, they're gonna, um, somebody might bake more cookies and deliver it to their house for like a special treat or something. Oh my goodness. So they're gonna, they ate all those cookies earlier in the morning. They're gonna bake the cake, they're gonna eat the cake, and they're gonna get sick from the cake. And then they're gonna have cookies. Someone else is gonna bake them cookies, like a neighbor? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Or like their friend Snail. Snail? Oh, there's actually another chapter in oh. the book. And yeah, well there's a bunch of chapters. Yeah, and can you tell what it's about a little bit? Quick little summary, sure. So there's this snail. And, well, frogs, like, they're kind of at home. Both of the friends are at home. And Toad wanted to deliver a letter to Frog, but he didn't have time, so he asked Snail to bring it to his mailbox. Oh, okay, no, don't it, tell anymore. Oh, we don't want to give it away. Was that the garden? Um, I don't know if it's in this. Oh, it might be another Frog and Toad book? Yeah. I just was thinking you might find a snail in a garden, maybe. Okay, cool. You know what? Maybe I'll have my friend, my special friends, parents, tell me if you guys liked this Frog and Toad story. And if they did, special friend, we can find that Frog and Toad book and see if we can read about it's this in my now. Room. It's in my room. It might be in special guest her bookshop. All right, friends. I hope you have a great Tuesday. It's another beautiful day. So go enjoy that nice weather. See you later.